think this is going to work. Okay, guys, I know I got a lot of questions out there on tire PSI. Everybody's confused about what what uh, pressure do I run now because I changed the uh, I changed the tire size. Well, here here's here's what I know, and this is what I've gone through, and a lot of the stuff I didn't even know when I worked at the tire shop. You know, we just we just went by a rule of thumb. So this is just a quick technical explanation here. So I started with a uh, 2018 Chevy Colorado crew cab with the factory tires on there right okay guys for this we're going to use two different charts here because there are two different standards one standard is like the American standard or North American the TRA and the other standard is the ISO European standard, the uh, UTROTO or something like that. Okay, so if you look at the uh, Chevy, the factory Chevy tires, that'd be up in the right hand corner there. See the metric ETRTO? They're using the European system, okay, on those tires. Now the American system on the other three there are um, passenger car, light truck, and flotation there's different charts they use whereas the Europeans use one chart and they go by the uh, by the load index okay so this tire has a load index of 110 so we use the European chart okay guys the charts fairly easy you know, you got the load index on the left, you go across, line it up with the 35 PSI at the top. There's PSI's up on the top, so you see it's 2,260 pounds. Because uh, it tells you everything you need to know there. Look, it says, combined weight of occupants and cargo should not exceed 1,519 pounds. That's the limit of this truck. So this is the recommended PSI. There's your tire sizes. As you see, they're the metric. It's a metric size, it's not a P, it's not an LT, okay? The T is your speed rating. And uh, so the tire and loading information label on the vehicle indicates the original equipment tires and the correct cold tire inflation pressures. The recommended pressure is the minimum, minimum air pressure needed to support the vehicle's maximum load carrying capacity. Okay, guys. So if we refer, if we refer back to the to the load index chart, there we know it's 2,260 pound capacity of that tire at 35 psi, right? So the new tires has to hold that capacity. It can be a higher capacity, capacity, but you don't want a lower capacity, right? So check the inflation tables. Okay, let's try this one more time. So there's the inflation, the new flotation size. So we got to use a different chart, right? See flotation, TRA. We're going to use a North American uh, Tire Rim Association chart, right? Right. Okay, here's just a simplified version of this chart here, but there's my tire size. And you know, I got to go, I have to have a tire with a capacity more than 2,260 pounds. So there's 2,075, that's not going to work. 2,335, that's it. And that happens to be in the 35 PSI column. It goes uh, uh, 25, 30, and 35 on this particular chart here. Okay, one more thing before I go here. This has taken me like half a day to just for this short little four-minute video, but... <coughs> Um, you can't go wrong going by the manufacturer's recommended minimum PSI. Your pressure's right there, sticker on the door. When in doubt, just go by that. You know, you can always go a little more. It's not going to hurt nothing. But that is the minimum. The minimum. Okay, guys, I'll uh, turn that off. Yeah, I'll uh, include a link to these charts in the description box below.